talking with Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash Ketchum, and my other favorite is that you're involved with Sailor Moon. That's really exciting. So how did you decide to become a voice actor? Because I know you do acting, you do acting in general. How did you make the transition into voice acting? Uh, well, I think my opportunities just kind of shifted from being an actor that works on stage or um, on camera to someone who works behind a microphone primarily. Um, most of my opportunities are voice related, cartoons, audiobooks, commercials, things like that. So I didn't really make a decision. It's just that's how things have gone and I, it's not that I don't look for work in other areas also. I'm an actor so I want to do everything. Um, was the voice of Ash something you developed specifically for the show or was that a voice you just did for fun? Oh no, no, no. Um, when I auditioned for Ash we got a chance to listen to the original Pokemon and they wanted the voices to sound similar to those so it's certainly not something that um, although I do a lot of weird voices and <laughs> accents and things in my real life I don't um, come up with voices and then find a place for them so definitely this was something that the show uh, asked for or I was asked to do in a sense. And what was the best part about getting to be Ash Ketchum? Uh, I think everyone would like to go to work and be a 10-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I loved that Ash was so positive. I had certainly learned a lot in my real life about the power of positivity, um, working with friends. And um, I don't know, I, I think that's probably the biggest takeaway for me working on that. But um, I don't battle very much in my real life, so going and getting to do battles, all of that was super fun. Uh, is it true that you also voiced Gary Oak's Cheering Girls? I did, yeah, many of them. Did that feel like a betrayal? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, no, I think no, because I was a totally different character then, same as, um, I, you know, Ash is on his journey and I also played Ash's mom, so I didn't really think about being the mom when I thought about being Ash, you know, so uh, I could keep it very separate, but I guess that is kind of weird, <laughs> isn't it? I never thought about it like that. Uh, I'll just, would you mind answering the next question in character as Ash? Uh, sure, sure. Reflecting on your life, would you recommend other 10 year olds to go out on their own fighting crime and battling Pokemon like you did? Or would you say 10 is a bit young? Um, I think, uh, let's see, <laughs> well certainly 10 is not young, especially if you stay 10 for a really long time. Um, and I was really ready for my journey and luckily my mom let me go. So I would say it's not for everyone and um, not everyone can travel with just one pair of underwear in their backpack and go on the road for a long time. So uh, yeah, I think it's all right. Thank you so much. Um, how do you decide which roles you will take? Uh, well, I guess it's, it, it's not so much what I decide, it's what I'm offered. Um, I audition for a lot of projects and I get cast in some of them and certainly when I do have the choice to decide I um, I tend to choose to audition for things that I guess my daughter could watch my parents would watch um, something that's a little more family friendly I do like stories that are a little deeper um, things that we can learn from I'm a big fan of creativity and imagination so I do like projects that stretch those things. Um, but as an actor, you don't get to choose that often, unfortunately. Um, I audition for everything I can and hopefully I get cast in everything. Um, I'm a huge fan of Sailor Moon and I was so excited to see that they're going to be, uh, Viz Media will be doing all the, um, the complete series with English because um, I watched them all in Japanese because yeah. they stopped happening in English. So it's awesome. But can you tell me a bit about your involvement with that? Yeah, I just started playing Sailor Pluto. Um, I really don't know that much about the show itself yet. Um, I've been on a couple episodes and I still, I'm not fully in the Sailor Moon world yet, but I'm super excited. I'm also a really big fan. Um, I think from what I can tell, I'm in it a little bit now and will be in it a lot more later. And that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> Do you know what voice you'll be doing as Sailor Pluto? Um, her voice is a little bit lower, but I'm, I'm still not so sure what it is because it's, um, it sounds so weird to say, but I've only been in little bits of episodes. So even that, I think they're kind of still tweaking what it will be. So as far as giving you a sneak preview, I can't really do that because I, I don't want it to be the wrong voice. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs>